Hello and welcome to our presentation. Here we will be presenting our Arduino project. For this project, we have created an Arduino based fingerprint and voice recognition door lock prototype. We have created a simple house model in which we will demonstrate the fingerprint and voice recognition sensor in use. To create the house, we used pieces of cardboard and printed different designs to give the house a bit more of a realistic appearance. In this model, we have implemented voice recognition. The voice recognition operates when the user first calls Hi Cell and then says the command Open the door. The user must then place their finger on the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor has been implemented as a method of authorization to gain access to open the door. Once the user places their finger on the sensor, the program takes an image of the fingerprint and tallies it with the involved fingerprints. Only if the fingerprint is recognized, the door will automatically open. The door will open for a set period of time, which we have declared in the code, and after that, it will automatically close. Here we have some sketches that I've drawn with the idea of using a fingerprint which I purchased from Amazon. We didn't have a clear concept at the time, so I drew what came to mind, which was a safe in a bank. The usage of a fingerprint can be used in businesses such as banks, but with a more expensive sensor, which can be provided for more high security. Here, I'm using the online Arduino cloud. You can download it too. At first, we need to download the Arduino fingerprint sensor library from any of the web browser. As you can see in this quick video, we need to import it like this and then you can enroll your fingerprint. We need to run the enroll coding from the examples of our Jeffit library and then open serial monitor. Put your fingerprint on the sensor and your image is taken and then remove it. Here we are demonstrating it with an authorized user. Hi sir, open the door. Now we are doing it with an unauthorized user. Jana is coming to try to access it, but her fingerprint is not working. However, if I will place my fingerprint on it, then it will going to work. As you can see, it's working. When connecting wires, it is highly important that you are careful and ensure the wires are connected correctly. For this project, we have attached a growth speech recognition sensor on the Arduino Uno board. Over the speech recognition sensor, we were able to connect all the wires in the required pins. For the servo motor, we have connected one wire for ground, one for 5 volts and one for digital 9, also known as D9. For the fingerprint sensor, we have connected one for ground, one for 3.3 volts, one for TX in D2 and one for RX in D3. Wiring for the LEDs can be placed in any digital pin except for those that are already in use. After enrolling, the trickiest part comes which is coding and I know most of the people don't like it but let's go with it. First of all, we need to include fingerprint and voice recognition libraries and then we are defining pins for RX and TX. We need to set a particular command for voice recognition in order to make it unique. We are setting it as a constant variable as open the door. For activating our speech sensor, we need to say hi cell and suddenly we will see that red light start appear on a speech sensor. Servo motor is used to open the door with the specific angles. In setup low, we are including board rate for recognizing voice. And then audio fit fingerprint test begins. In setup low, first of all, we are writing the coding for voice recognition and then the fingerprint sensor. If the voice is recognized correctly, then fingerprint sensor will automatically activate. We are setting if else loop if the fingerprint sensor found a match or not. We are fixing so many reading sensor parameters. It depends on you. It can be changed by a person choice. And then it will check if there is an enrolled fingerprint or not. And then the void loop will begin. It will going to repeat again and again. It just iterate. So it will take fingerprint ID. If the fingerprint is ID is correct or not, it will give you errors according what it reads. Is it 
convert it? Is it nasty? Is it there is an error? If the image is converted, then it will show found a print match. If not, then there will be communication error as well. And then the door will open. We are making a parameter to open the door by 90 degrees. And then the LEDs will start blinking. Once the door will close, LED will stop and the fingerprint ID will return and the void loop will start iterating. As you can see, the whole parameters which you write in the coding part is showing in the serial monitor. First of all, it will detect if the fingerprint sensors are present or not. If not, then it will show found not match. If it will detect the fingerprint sensor with an authorized user, it will going to convert the image with a confidence and a ID. Once it will be done and the gate will open, then the void loop will start iterating again and again. If the fingerprint is detected by an unauthorized user, it will going to show image converted but the fingerprint is not recognized.